What's going on, guys? I'm Akim Sivitarian. Today, we are back with another video, and today I am going to be giving you guys my render settings and my recording settings on OBS Studio and on Sony Vegas 14. So, the first thing that I want to say is I don't know if these are the best settings for recording and for rendering, but it's just what I do. So, if you enjoy my content, if you think that my quality is good, then I suggest you follow these steps. I've definitely watched a lot of videos on this. And I would say I know a little bit, but I might need to critique some things and I might have some stuff wrong because as you guys know, my computer has had multiple problems. So I've had to mess around with it and it's just what works for me. So let's go ahead and go to setting and let's go to output and then recording. So this is my recording tab. And as you can see, type is standard. I don't know if there's any change in to do there. recording path. You can set that up to whatever you want. Recording format, MP4, audio track one and two, that will come into play a factor in a little bit uh encoder i use x264 i think you're supposed to use your graphics card but it, whenever i recorded with that it was like overloading i think that's what it was saying so i have to use uh i think that's my cpu my rescale output is 1920 by 1080 rate control is cbr and my bit rate is 80,000. so let's get out of the recording tab go over to video i record in 1920 by 1080 however my monitor is 2560 by 1440 so it's a little confusing there i've had to mess with that to make sure that i don't have black bars on sony vegas uh, and then my fps is 120 uh, is the numerator denominator is one so i'm recording in 120 fps i wanted to do 240 but my computer literally just cannot handle that i have no idea why also if you guys do want to know my computer specs i will have a link uh, in the description down below so i'm now going to move on to sony vegas but i still need to show you guys my audio settings but i need to show you this on my sony vegas and like i said i do use vegas pro 14 sony vegas 14 and the way i have this set up is i have my desktop audio on the bottom and i have my mic audio on the top now if i do talk to people in discord it kind of gets hard for me to if i need to mute them or it'll mess up my desktop audio but i've never really got any complaints about that in my videos but if you guys want to have your audio like this i will go ahead and tell you what you have to do so if you go to your settings go to audio you can put your desktop audio as your headset as default or whatever your headset is you can make your mic audio to your um, microphone obviously that's like just standard stuff so let's go ahead and do cancel. Let's go down to the bottom where you see your microphone where I'm talking in the bottom middle of the screen. You click on the settings, go to advanced audio properties, and then you need to unclick all of the tracks. Desktop audio needs to be set to two and mic audio needs to be set to one. Everything else needs to be unclicked and then it should, whenever you record, when you drag that recording into your Sony Vegas, it should have two separate audio tracks. Now we're on to Sony Vegas and I am gonna go ahead and show you guys my render settings. They are very close to uh, Mizoids and Kenzo's. I think I took off of both of theirs and put it together, uh, but it's probably very, very similar. So let's go ahead and go to render as, and then my main render is .wmv. And then if I go ahead and go to customize template, so this is all you guys need to see. I will go through both tabs, the audio, you can just copy it as exactly as you see it. Uh, video tab, I have it to the 100% sharpest. Um, I actually render in 60 FPS. And now that I'm looking at this, this might actually be a problem because I record in 120. So rendering in 60, that doesn't really make sense, but I mean, that's just how I've always done it. So maybe someone who's an expert can tell me about that. And then I render in 1440p, Bitrate, as you can see, uh, 35M beside the internet. I don't think I changed anything else on this. Uh, go to the next one. This is nothing index, doesn't mean anything. Project, yeah, I have it set to best. Use project settings and default. And well, that's pretty much all I have to say about my recording settings and my render settings. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And for everyone that is from Minecraft, which is probably like 95, 90% of you, uh, I was thinking about doing a texture pack giveaway as well, or like giving away my texture pack folder, my mods folder, because I know a lot of people have been asking about that. Uh, but I think I'm going to save that video for a while because I've probably got more requests about my recording settings. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. Hopefully this helps you if you want to get started on your YouTube channel. Um, I didn't do my streaming settings because I have that set up to a different tab. Uh, but if you need streaming settings, comment that down below and I might be able to work something out in one of my next videos. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys later and peace out.